Okay, welcome back. So let us continue. We have just had a war with Great Britain. We had a succession war because we formed a personal union with Portugal. Now we have released Scotland in a peace deal and I will attempt to peacefully vassalize them. Eh? 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 You like that idea? I love that idea. And that will put us in a very interesting position. We're already annexing one vassal. We'll be able to hopefully integrate Portugal at some point. And, well, you can well imagine how this goes and how this ends. Us ruling the world is a very real possibility. Let's gather our ships for now, make sure everyone is nice and set up. Yeah, I refrained from taking stuff in the Caribbean. That would have cost us a lot more or extension than I would have liked. And I decided to ditch that idea. And yeah, you can see that this will cause us a great deal as well. And we'll start on, well, Bremen, because it's in the Lubeck node, where we have a lot of our valuable stuff. We lost the colonialism Casas Belli against England. Unfortunate, but bound to happen. Okay, we'll need to move off some troops around, but again, perfectly legit. Okay, gather everyone up right there I suppose can have few light ships no you're the Lubeck patrol go back and ensure my supremacy in my home zone how much am I losing here from embargoed by Bremen well douchebags but douchebags will be douchebags it's not much you can do about that I suppose actually losing cash from what Reinforcements? Over force limit? What? See, I knew this would happen. They're actually trying to keep stuff here and it's hurting my naval situation. Although I do have a few light ships. You will actually patrol the North Sea for me. Because I do need to keep the cash flowing something I really do need. I need to keep the cash flowing proper like. Now where are my transports? Yep, still on call. That is a problem but I'm gonna take the hit there. Royal marriage. I won't need too many you know improved relations points before I'm able to peacefully vassalize them, and that's very nice indeed. 71 heavy ships, very sexy, very nice. Actually, gonna start by lowering this to the point where we're actually making money. Have to make some buildings to help boost stuff, and where the fuck are those transports? All oh, right, there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, how are we lowering on force limit? Oh shit, we're way over. Did capture a bunch of ships as well, so that's okay. Novgorod, pulling these off, not gonna make that big a difference. I'm gonna actually send these to the North Sea node as well because we really need to get some power there. Because well, Scotland is gonna be a th problem just a bit. Okay, so relations wise, we are 6 of 4. Oh, that's bullshit right there. So, influence actions. Now, revoke guarantee. There we go. Because I don't want to be actually guaranteeing them. I'm not going to be revoking the guarantee for Scotland, obviously, because they are going to stay nice and independent but because I need them independent but uh, yeah these you can go ahead and reconquer I just did it to slow them down force them to I could go for a peaceful vassalization but I'm not gonna take the diplo hit I'm just not I need the diplo tech to keep leveling up so Okay, go there. Scottish are building their first 
troops in many years since well they just recovered their independence thanks to me cuz i'm awesome <laughs> yes send improve relations let us start to build it up to a nice high level okay troops over here you need to head over here and pick those up yeah i didn't really pick anything up there which is I think a legit idea because you know just because oh and they're not directing trade through there do I have any merchants I could actually pull off of something where are my merchants okay I have one in the North Sea I have one here recall merchant I can actually channel a bit of cash through the Mississippi node by oh it's already being channeled upwards by the Cherokee never mind okay yeah okay 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 that's actually good all of the power is once again flowing where it should go oh no no it's not but we're getting plenty out of here and we should be no, our profits still suck quite a bit, but... Well, that will have to do, I'm afraid. Manage to tank our economy, and it's gonna stay tanked until we can actually vassalize and annex Scotland. But still, still, it's a step in the right direction, I think. And, in fact, we have many heavy ships that are, you know of the older Karak, var Karak variety, whereas I could turn them over to be, you know, actual uh, uh, galleons. And we're going to be saving up points to core stuff. It's a thing. Actually, what's my force limit for land? 58. Okay, so that's fine-ish. Yeah, I think we'll be able to still suck enough cash out there out of there to make it worthwhile but okay actually no we're gonna split you in half we're gonna send again half of you to the North Sea and half of you are gonna actually stay in the Caribbean cause since we're no longer monopolizing the yeah see we only lost like two and a half here and we'll gain a lot more than that from the North Sea because well you know cause stuff Michigan is self-sustaining awesome as always and this is actually the border of the node that's part of the Cherokee I may want to force vassalize them but actually that might not be the worst idea that or taking some territory from them I don't know maybe we'll see not quite yet of course, but still it's something to consider. How are we on military tech? Wow, we're 15 years, we're a few years ahead, like five years ahead of the curve. Nice! It's actually pretty damn nice. We'll be wanting to get rid of some of the characters just to modernize stuff for one. And damn it, Ah, the ships are still traveling. Never mind, that's fine. So the North Sea is once again swinging enough cash this way to be worth something. Okay, good. How's my money situation looking? Ah, eh, not ideal, but we'll be our force limit there as well. And yeah, I think ditching some 11 heavy ships will be perfectly legit so Karak 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 come on show me your faces oh Karaks you sneaky bastard yeah I'm gonna teach some heavy ships because my economy can't handle this and I would like to be able to run this at full maintenance 
without bankrupting myself if I need to. So that ought to be good. It still leaves me with my, what? My 60 heavy ships, 61. And so that's perfectly fine. In fact, I'm actually gonna kill one more to bring myself to an even 60. There. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. Those naval ideas actually were pretty damn good and worth the investment. Available merchant. So where the fuck would I send him? What about here? If I send you to do that, let's see how much of a difference that makes, if any. Okay. Oh, I actually need a merchant there because they're just sending things in every direction now. So, Polotsk and Muscovy are sucking it out, but everyone else that has trade power is just... There is no direction there, so it just flows equally in both directions, and that is... Well, actually, let me see. This still flows into the North Sea, so it's not too bad for me, but still, it might not be the best of ideas. And keep converting, damn it. Oh. Actually. The extra missionary is... No, I'm gonna save my cash, but the extra missionary is a bit... Yeah, we'll do that. House of Trade. Gain 5 mercantilism. Oh, and that's still the end of game. More stability cost, less light trip cost, national trade income modifier. Maybe. And this is what, the opposite? Production, technology cost, mercantilism loss. None of these really appeal. I don't want bigger stability cost if I can avoid it. And frankly, eh. And crap, I didn't set my timer. If this video ends abruptly, you'll know that I ran out of hard drive space. Just saying. So, where's that one ship that is conveniently a galleon and it's still en route? And in fact, I needed to set a new colony, didn't I? And I just got distracted. I'll build it there then. Getting a nice bit of land here. You go there. That should be fine. Scotland. Oh. Cordial. Cordial is not bad. Cordial will do. Yes, let us keep building it upwards and we should be able to peacefully vassalize them without too much trouble. They're not too strong. They should love us enough to actually was at war desires provinces a conquered provinces ooh they don't like that no 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 they don't like that at all apparently I have an early frigate in there somehow I don't know if they upgrade on their own after sufficient time in port I really don't if someone could comment on that that would be appreciated But, in any case, we're doing pretty damn good. I would say we're... Well, we're still fifth, but once we vassalize Scotland and... What happens on the ruler's death now? Okay, since, well, four years ago. If we can make this last long enough, we'll get Portugal along with all her overseas holdings. And now then... We shall be powerful. Now that we shall be a true global empire if we can pull that off. And that will be pretty damn cool. Pretty, pretty damn cool. Damn. I thought we were gonna get our ass whooped by f the French and Muscovites entering into that big war with England and the Huns. I, I mean, I thought I was overstretching myself and that I would be put in a sh might be put in a shitty position because of it, but this actually worked out amazingly well. Okay, you 
will want to go home and then you'll pick up those troops from there that should be fine okay now then ah oh, shit I don't want to spend still okay so what can I actually build from the trade stuff that is awesome nope can't trade depots trade value and trade power and yeah I'm just gonna build some marketplaces I suppose in these places because we actually find ourselves needing them the North Sea has not been particularly competitive place historically but right now right now it's actually the funnel through which the vast majority of our income is coming and that being the case it sucks that we don't have better control over it yeah that does suck a bit I might want to actually direct even more trade ships there although I think at this point we're actually pretty good in fact let us split off the transports and start bringing these troops over to the colonies right now as well that should be perfectly legit speaking of unique buildings fine arts war college leaders with oh oh sweet mother of god how did I not notice this sooner yeah we're cranking that down and we're gonna get that ASAP that is now our top priority I want that one and we are gonna have to send a merchant to this node here cause you know the we do need cash money for the running of the empire it's a thing it's a real thing we need cash money for the running of the empire so yeah four of four we still have a royal marriage with Great Britain Iroquois why do you like me so much because the aggressive expansion has gone down well whatever the case we're still annexing them at a decent clip and in four years we'll be done and then we'll get a well four more territories but eh, should be nice all right we are 15 power but once we start annexing some of these people especially once we vassalize Scotland that will also make a difference and thinking this will be pretty damn good okay free advisor slot second level guy no especially since we're actually pretty swimmy much swimming in military like a second leader without upkeep would be pretty damn good house of trade What's my stability cost modifiers? I don't want to get it much more expensive. Okay, no, no, no. Boost or extension positive stability, superintendent and religious unity. So I actually get minus 12%, so I could afford to establish the house trade, and the rest of the stuff is pretty sweet. So, yeah, we're gonna do that. Especially considering the fact that like 63 percent of our income is trade and that is pretty damn epic okay can I send someone to the Novgorod okay so from the Hudson then get over there and fix it should be fine oh sweet mother of God that was a sweet war Oh, I might not be able to actually vassalize them because of how many provinces they'll have. Uh, whoops, yep, can't. Shit. Well, we're still gonna stay allied with them, I suppose. Suppose we'll do that. Okay, so playing nice with them was stupid. I shouldn't have done it. Well, the royal ties will eventually break and then we'll be able to force vassalize them. Oh well, mistakes made. Still, 
an extra ally there to help against the English, or the British, I should say, will not be a miss. And Scotland? Eh, I have an affinity for Scotland. I've played them a lot in the Crusader Kings. Okay, we're here. Yep, spend a bit of admin power, because that is nice and cheap. And send another colonist to there. Should be good. Should be perfectly, perfectly good. So yeah, we will not be able to do that. Right. Yeah, we're gonna stay nice and close to them. Sure. Whoa. Slave uprising. Well, shit, apparently we have slaves. Who would have thought? And don't you dare lose that. We need you to have a base here so that you can actually deal with the French if they come here. So, kindly, let's... I'm gonna have to go and fix it for them. Pure and simple. Oh well. Scotland. Freaking Scotland. Well, they are Protestant. So, it makes sense to play nice with them, I suppose. Is there no defender of the faith? Apparently there isn't. Extra missionary. Prestige. Monthly war exhaustion. Morale. But no, I want the war college first. Okay, the Hansa is being up the again. We might have another rumble with them. Yes, 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 yeah. So who's in a coalition? Muscovy, Hansa, Smolensk and Bremen. Interesting. This may well be worth considering. Oh crap, my maintenance was down, wasn't it? Well, but they won, so we're good. Oh yeah, they're actually trying to convert them, apparently. The Portuguese, that is. Interesting. Revolts possible. Fucked on everywhere. Wonderbar. Okay, you are on stomping duty. Good. So yeah, I won't be able to peacefully vassalize them. Right, there is that limitation there. And I did... Shit. Yeah... Well, crap. That is unfortunate. Oh well. What can you do, I suppose? Okay, that's minus one rebel. And most rebels are so small that 20 regiments can smash them even without any morale and not suffer serious losses. We have 60,000 reserve manpower available, which is epic. I think we're in a good place. I think overall we are in a good, good place. Should have noticed that thing about the thing. Scotland. <laughs> Don't want to outright conquer them, I want to vassalize them first. Okay, the national traditions of Scotland will make it harder. Great. <sighs> yeah. Well. Well. That was a mistake. It was a damn mistake. One I should not have made. I'm gonna actually end this when we start constructing the war college. It's actually only 12 months. And another leader plus yearly army tradition to keep it, you know, from decaying quite as far. Having some yearly income of army tradition would pretty be, be pretty good. I could really enjoy having some. So a bit more cash and we'll be there. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Must be really frustrating.
Seriously, that is just target practice. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not scared at all. Yeah, that was an honest mistake. I mean, well, that was. I should have remembered about that. I really should have. Oh well. Oh well. We do have another ally, one that is not entirely useless. So that's good. So we have Portugal. We have Scotland. And we have Dirakwa. Dirakwa will soon be annexed, so we'll free up one of our actual mm, slots there. And Scotland, I think we'll declare war on them at some point and just force vassalize them because fuck that shit. Yeah, fuck that shit. Still, we have done well for ourselves and a bit of a mistake here with Scotland. Frankly, I'm not that bothered. I think we're good. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.